Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today for Declutter Week, we're going to be going through all of my makeup brushes, and technically my sponges, but I think I only need to get rid of one or two sponges. Um, so I have a lot of brushes. So this is um, an old Sigma brush case, which is like overflowing with uh, brushes, just about full. And then I have two coffee mugs <laughs> full of these brushes and then I have the brushes I use on a daily basis so I've already like cut this down because I used to have these there used to be two of these full of eye brushes but I narrowed it down to one and then my face brushes are in here so these are ones that I actually literally use every day so I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these but I am going to show you guys I think we're going to start here show you what I use on a daily basis and then we'll move into the rest of the brushes so it's a little messy. I did just use these. But this is the case. I actually really like this case. I got it back in the day. I bought the Jaclyn Hill Favorites kit from Morphe. The brushes were like mostly trash, <laughs> but the case is actually really good. And I love traveling with this because it's a hard case and you can fit like all your brushes into it. So this is everything I use for my everyday face. So first we have my primer brush. This is technically a foundation brush from e.l.f., but I just love using this for applying uh, primer. Next I have my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. This is my favorite foundation brush. Next I have my two go-to uh, powder brushes. So this is a Sigma F10. I like to use this to brush off the excess from under my eyes. And then this is the Too Faced Perfect Powder Brush, like the Mr. Right brush. And this is what I use for all over face powder. My favorite bronzing brush is actually from Morphe. This is one of the brushes that wasn't trash from that favorites kit. And this is the R10. I don't know if it's technically supposed to be for bronzer, but it's a really good bronzing brush. For contour, you don't have to spend the money on this, quite honestly. I'm kind of upset that I spent this much money on it, but it has lasted me a good long time and is still in good condition. This is the NARS Eda brush that I use for contouring. And then for blending out the contour, I have this brush from BH Cosmetics, and it came in a kit, so there isn't a name on it, which is kind of annoying, but it came from the Marble Brush Kit. Next, my favorite blush brush is from Real Techniques, and this is the Real Techniques 400 brush, and it's just like the perfect size and shape for blush. For blending out, I like to blend out um, most of my face with a dual fiber brush after I apply it, because I just feel like it gives a really nice blended finish to everything. This is what I use for blending out my blush and my highlight, and this is the ColourPop F14 brush. And last but certainly not least, I honestly kind of, I don't know, I kind of regret this brush. It's a decent highlighting brush and I like it, but it's cheap for the for what I paid for it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush, but like it constantly sheds, which it shouldn't for how much I paid for this. And yeah, like everything's worn off the side already, and I don't put these through too much. But um, yeah, I really don't like the shedding, but I love the shape of this brush. It just, it's the perfect shape. I just wish someone else made it so that it wouldn't be as sheddy. So those are all of my everyday face brushes. Let's go into my everyday eye brushes. Yeah, I apologize. These are messy. I did just use these. I also keep a little metal um, like cuticle pusher in here. I don't use this for my cuticles. I use this to like help me open up um, like products or packages because I don't want to use my nails. I'm trying to grow them out. They're a little nasty right now, but working on it. These three brushes are brushes I got from Clino Cleona Cosmetics. I got them in my first Tribe Beauty box and I'm currently testing them out. I really like this angled liner brush for my brows and I really like this what is this one just a like a, a short shader for uh like shimmer shades this is a random brush from alter ego I was sent this when they sent me their first um palette in PR and I actually really love this brush for just setting my um eye primer it just works really well okay this is a brush from mac that is like just okay it's just a concealer brush it is technically i i can't even read the number on it anymore but it's their flat concealer brush let's pull all the sigma brushes out i lied there's another mac brush in here this is the mac 217 which is supposed to be basically the same as the sigma e25 that's the two of them right there it's like just okay 
if there's one thing you get from this is that I really don't think the MAC brushes are really worth it. All right, so I think this is most of the, if not all, the Sigma brushes that I have in my everyday just brush use set. I have an angled liner. I have the inner corner highlight, which I love this inner corner highlight brush. It's amazing. I have a short shader that I really use for um, my lower lash line more than anything else. And then I have the E25. And I don't use this as often as like I thought I would. Okay, let's go with these. I have a, just a spoolie from MAC, which wasn't worth it. And I probably, uh, I'm gonna clean it and see how it works. And then I, I really didn't need that from MAC, honestly. Again, I don't think MAC brushes are really worth it. I have these two double-ended um, like liner brushes from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Milani. Uh, the Milani one works pretty well, surprisingly, considering it came just like with uh, a brow product. And the ABH one works well when you first get it. Like this is the second one that I've had. But after a few months, like it no longer has a phrase and it no longer has that sharp line. So then it's kind of useless. So after this, I probably won't buy another one because it's, I don't think it lasts as long as it should. This isn't a brush. <laughs> this is a, um like a little spatula thing. I think I bought this on Amazon and I just use it to really scrape out uh, like foundation and concealer just from the bottle so you actually get like every drop out and it's really useful. All right, so these three are kind of random brushes. This is a lip brush from Aesthetica and I honestly can't remember when I got this. It's that old. I then have a concealer brush from e.l.f. that I mainly use uh, to like put on eye primer. That's just all right. And then same thing with this other BH Cosmetics brush. I use this to either put on eye primer or like glitter glue. Alrighty, so these are all from Zoeva. I just recently invested in these brushes particularly because I followed this um, woman on Instagram. I think her name is Jessica Rose Makeup, but she does the most beautiful cut creases and looks. And she always uses like these same brushes from Zoeva. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try them. So this is the wing liner brush the spot liner brush, the Lux Precise Shader, the Lux Pencil, and the Lux Petite Pencil. I've tried out the pencils and they're actually really nice. I'm shocked by the quality because they're about the same price as like the Sigma brushes and I really like them so far and I can't wait to use this wing liner to try and do like a better cut crease. And last but kind of least we have the remaining Morphe brushes. I haven't gone out of my way to actually buy a Morphe brush in over a year but these are basically what worked decently out of that kit that I bought. I think I bought, I bought like back in 2016, I bought my first like set of Morphe brushes and most of them fell apart and were trash. And then later on, I tried to buy individual brushes and I bought the um, Jaclyn Hill brush set and I was like, I need to stop wasting my money. These aren't that great. Out of everything, these are the only ones because I've had a lot of Morphe brushes. These are the only ones that have lasted. So I have the M573. There's actually two of those right here. I have the M432, the M506, which I actually really like this M506. It's like the perfect small um, brush for smoking out my lower lash line. Then we have the M433, which is actually a decent blending brush. The M421, which is just a little concealer brush. And then this is so old from a set that it doesn't have a number or a name. But this is actually really nice for applying uh, shimmer shadows to my lid. Alrighty, now that we're done going through basically all of my everyday brushes and what I'm keeping, let's go through like what I call my backup brushes. So I keep these on display in these little cups, but I really need to go through them because I'm not reaching for these. Okay, so this one came in the set from that Tri Beauty box and I haven't fully tested it yet, so I'm gonna keep that one. You know what? I don't really like fan highlighting brushes and I don't know why I kept this. This is from a Wet n Wild set. A lot of these came from um, a video I did where I tested the best affordable brush sets. So I don't use every single one of those brushes anymore. So those need to go and that this is one of them. So this is just the fan brush from that uh, Wet n Wild kit. Same with this fan highlighting brush from e.l.f. Don't use it. This is something I don't use. This is a big powder brush from BH Cosmetics and I don't like the shape of this. This doesn't like, I don't know. It just doesn't work for powder and I don't like it. <laughs> this is actually a, a decent dupe for my flat top kabuki from Sigma and this is the Morphe M439. I like using it when the Sigma is dirty. 
that's, uh, that's a good backup. These two I am 100% just keeping because of the aesthetic. <laughs> These are from the Rebel Rose Wet n Wild collection and they're, they're literally just for display. It's a powder brush and an eyeshadow brush, which, the, the, yeah, they're, they're, for, they're for display. <laughs> These three brushes I really don't use and I don't like the fibers and the way that they're shaped. These are all from e.l.f. This is a blush brush, the angled foundation brush, which I don't use this brush for foundation at all and the highlighting brush which i don't like this is thick like this is a highlighting brush from sigma it's just too big to be a highlighting brush on my face so these are gonna go do, do, do. speaking of highlighting brushes i like going for a smaller highlighting brush so this one from sigma i think i'm gonna keep this one this is the fo3 and then i think this one needs to go this is from sigma but i've never used it really for highlighting it's too big for my face I'm gonna keep these two. This is from the Wet n Wild kit that I mentioned before, and it's a nice alternative to the NARS Eda brush. It's got the shape that I need, and I really like this, so I'm gonna keep that as a backup. Same with this brush. This is just an e.l.f. Stilfel brush, and it's nice to have a backup for a nice dual fiber brush to help blend things out. This is actually a nice powder brush from that same Wet n Wild kit, so I'm gonna keep this one. I definitely don't use this one, or this one. Yeah, these are both from the BH Cosmetics set, I guess brush three and brush four, and I don't use them. Yeah, so, bye bye I actually like this Wet n Wild brush. I think it's a highlighting brush, but I also use this to contour, <laughs> which is why it's like stained brown, but it worked really well, so I'm gonna keep that one. And I'm also going to keep this Sigma dual fiber blending brush, because it's also a nice alternative to my other small dual fiber blending brush. These ones I don't use. This is one from the BH Cosmetics brush set, and I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it, it's an odd shape and I don't reach for it. And then this is from ColourPop, and this is supposed to be a blush brush, but to me it's too small and too dense to be a blush brush. Like, it's it picks up too much product, it doesn't blend well, so I don't use it. So those are gonna go. Alright, let's see, what else can go? This one I keep just because of how big and floofy it is, and I came in that Jaclyn Hill kit. <laughs> So it's, it's honestly also a nice display piece. Do I use it? Barely. Eh, I'll give myself that one. I'll keep it. <laughs> All right, and these two can go. This is a Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush that I rarely use. And then this is another powder brush from the BH Cosmetics set, which is just, again, like an odd shape. I don't like the shape of this. As for these two Wet n Wild brushes, I think I'm going to keep them. This is a nice um, foundation brush. It's not as stiff as the Sigma version, but it's still a nice brush. And then this one, I think it's supposed to be an all-around powder brush, but this also works really well for bronzing. So I'll keep these two. So these are all the brushes that we've decluttered so far. It's about half. I think, ooh, I think we're doing pretty good so far. All right, so next we got to go through this overpacked Sigma book. <laughs> So I mentioned before that I already cut down like the brushes I keep for my everyday makeup. These are all the other eye brushes that I don't reach for as often. I just kind of threw them in here until this declutter came. But I also have all of these, all of these, like there's a, there's a lot in here. <laughs> so I think let's start with the face brushes because there's not as many of them. So these are all the face brushes that I keep in there and honestly we can get rid of most of them. I don't reach for either of these. This is a Morphe E8 and a small contour brush from Sigma. I also don't use this face brush from e.l.f. It's just an odd shape and like too big. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. A concealer brush. This isn't a concealer brush. It feels... I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't use that for concealer and I don't use it for anything else either. This is a round kabuki from Sigma and it's also a good alternative to the flat top kabuki that I like so much. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then this one I just hold on to for memories? I don't know sentimental reasons this is the um i don't know if they do it anymore but back when you first hit rouge i think this is the first time i hit rouge they would give you a pro mini brush and it's just a little cute brush i don't actually use this i should just keep it on display yeah okay so four more brushes gone These are the rest of the eye brushes. <laughs> wow. Well, where, where do I even begin? Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one because again, this came from the kit that I just got with my first uh, 
Tri Beauty box, so that one's gonna stay. You know, and these are all brushes that have been in this book for a while, so I'm not raging for these as often, so I need to be a little bit harsher with these. A backup spoolie is always good to have, um, so I'm gonna keep this one from e.l.f. Okay, so I went through and I just picked all the brushes that are really just too big for my eyes. I have tiny eyes and I never reach for these, but they come in sets because I guess they fit in most eyes, but not mine. So we have a Sigma E35, a Sigma E48, a brush from the Wet n Wild set, a brush from the BH Cosmetics set, a Sigma E40, and then a brush from a Profusion set. They're just all too big for me. Oh, I should have included this one too. This is also too big for me. This is another C Sigma E40. Okay, these are all blending brushes that I just don't reach for because they're not, I don't know, they don't feel nice and they don't have the right shape that I'm looking for. So a Morphe B79, a fluffy eye blender brush from e.l.f., a crease brush from e.l.f., blending brush from e.l.f., <laughs> eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f., and another eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. I even had two of these and had no idea. Ooh, the cops are coming. Okay, so I just picked out brushes that I know I'm not reaching for. This is a small angled brush from e.l.f. and it's frayed, so it doesn't really give me that nice sharp angle that I need. This is a big blending brush. I don't know. See, this is not what I would use for blending, right? It's just weird, but uh, this is from e.l.f. not using that. I have two other angled brushes. This is from Aesthetica, which is, again, I really have no idea where I got those. Um, and then this is from e.l.f., which is a siliconed angled liner, and I thought I would get use out of this because it's supposed to keep the shape since it's, it's made of silicone, but it <laughs> this is such a useless brush. Okay, and then I have these kind of random brushes, another angled liner brush that isn't very sharp. This is from e.l.f. I have a Morphe E18, which just, it's like a, I guess, I guess like a small blending brush, but it's too big for, too big for my eyes, essentially. And then this Wet n Wild brush is just too big to use for anything other than eye primer. And I already have an eye priming brush. Oh my god, so far we've gotten like rid of 20 brushes and I've only kept two. This is about to get harder. Okay, out of these, I'm not going to use this Wet n Wild one. I think it's too fluffy. It's like supposed to be a concealer brush, but it's too fluffy, but then not fluffy enough for blending. Eh, I don't like it. These three I think I'm going to keep. I like having multiples of just these flat brushes because they're just so useful. This is from Royal and Langnickel. I got a long time ago in like a boxy charm. This is from ColourPop. And then this one is a MAC brush, which again, I want to reiterate, I don't think MAC brushes are worth it. <laughs> All right, I'll look at some detailed brushes that I'm not really reaching for. This is a small precision brush from e.l.f. And I think it's supposed to, I thought I could use it like an inner corner highlight brush, but I don't, so that can go. This is a Morphe E36, which I don't know. I don't like these small, dense, rounded off brushes. They don't work well for my eye shape at all. Let's see, a tight liner. All right, so these are all precision brushes from e.l.f. and then one from Sigma. I'm gonna keep the Sigma one, this like tight line brush. And then I'm gonna get rid of these three. Okay, we're doing good. Let's look at these fluffy blending brushes. There's a few more, but these are the ones we're gonna deal with for now. I really like this unnamed, oh no, it's got a name. This is an M504. This is a big fluffy brush and I love to use this to set powder for my eye primer, keeping that one. And these I really don't use. I bought the the Sigma E26 or E25 because everyone loved it. It I think it works okay, so I'll keep that one. I really like this Alter Ego one. I was actually kind of shocked at how good the quality is. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then this one from BH and this one from Wet n Wild, I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, so the remaining fluffy brushes. I don't like this ColourPop one. It's supposed to be a Sigma E25, but I don't like it. So that's gonna go. This one from the BH Cosmetics set, I actually like the shape. It's like a more fluffy and wider version of the E25. So I'm gonna keep that one. And this one, it's so soft. I like this one. This is from Moda and this is a crease brush. It's actually one of the only crease brushes I think I can use. So I'll keep that one. Now for our remaining odd brushes. These two from Morphe are too similar. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is an M213 and uh, it's just, okay. <laughs> This is a Morphe 213, and it's really small, like, precision brush, so I'm gonna keep that one. 
And then let's see here. I have a pencil brush that I got, so I don't need another one. Because I already have, yeah, I don't need multiples of this pencil brush. Uh, this I never use, but it looks so gnarly. <laughs> it's a mascara fan brush, but do I actually put mascara? I don't. I don't need that. Okay. And then last but not least, we have this Sigma Exact Blend. And I kind of, do I like this? Yeah, you'll be on the chopping block, but I'll keep you. Because we've already gotten rid of more than half of my brushes, which is awesome. So these are all the eye brushes that we have decluttered. More than half. More than half. So our book that used to be totally full now only has one little section. And our coffee cups that used to be totally full, I could probably narrow this down to one, but for the sake of my display, I'll keep them spread out into the two. I just think they look so cute. And also the cups themselves I got from um, Taylor Wynn and her 15 days of foundation. She did uh, mugs one year, so I have that one. And then I have this one. I just love using them for my makeup brushes. And these are, in total, all the brushes I am decluttering today. More than half, and I know I'm gonna clean these. The ones that aren't clean are gonna get clean, and they're gonna go to much better homes. Hey guys, so I know at the beginning of this video I mentioned I was gonna go through my sponges, but I really don't have <laughs> much to talk about here. Most of them are Shop Miss A. Like these little black ones, they're all from Shop Miss A. And then this little one is from Shop Miss A. And I try to just go in and replace them like every three months-ish. So I actually just picked up a few more. They're a dollar each and they're the best. So I'm probably just gonna get rid of most of the black ones. These are the two I got from uh, PR and I really didn't like them that much. Like this brown one's okay, but this one's way too big. So this one's gonna go, but the rest are just gonna get replaced by Shop Miss A other sponges. So that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this declutter. Let me know down below if you're liking declutter week and if you can't wait to see the next videos in this series and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.